Hello, and welcome to your virtual 6th grade orientation. I am Kay Shear, and I will be your virtual tour guide in today's video. Starting off this video, you will see a few people. These are your middle school principals, and these are your secretaries. Before we get into the tour, I personally would like to say that I know all 6th graders are worried about getting lost. As a former 8th grader, I can inform you that getting lost is something even I was worried about as a 6th grader. Take it from me, if you pay attention and ask questions when needed, Making your way through the middle school will be a breeze. Without further ado, let's get straight into the middle school walkthrough. If you didn't already, put on your mask. You may now enter the building. When you look down, you will see arrows. These arrows indicate to stay on the right side of the hallway when walking. If you arrive early, you will walk into the gymnasium and wait to be dismissed to homeroom. When you were dismissed, you will leave the gym and walk down the hallway. Turn right, and then make a left. Here is the first staircase. This leads upstairs to the sixth grade hallway. The classrooms upstairs are mainly for all sixth graders. Depending on the location of your homeroom, you can use the first set of stairs. Let's go up. If you look to your right, you will see a set of bathrooms. These are the bathrooms that are dedicated to mainly all sixth graders. Now if you look left, you will see the hallway stretches down. As I'm walking, make sure you're paying attention to my surroundings. You will see the basic sixth grade classrooms. When you make it to the middle of the hallway, you'll see an opening. This is the middle stairway. Let's go down. If you go down the stairs, you'll see where we went up, up the first stairs. I'll have an arrow pointing at our last location so you can see that you can walk straight down this hallway. In this case, if you had a homeroom close to the middle or the end of the 6th grade hallway, you can walk down to the middle stairs and get a much easier and faster path to homeroom. If you look up above us, you will see the signs. More signs are spread across the school that you'll notice when you get here. Use these signs to see which direction your classrooms are. Now turn around. This is your middle school library. Let's go inside. If you come into the library, go ahead and open the door. You must sign in by either using an iPad or pulling out your phone, which we will have a demonstration here going on your camera app and scanning the QR code and it will take you to the website of the Google form. Now let's go back upstairs. Now we are where we left off upstairs. Let's continue walking. This is the third and final staircase. Let's go ahead and go down. Directly at the bottom of the stairs is the bathroom. This bathroom is mainly used by 7th and 8th graders, but you will not be troubled using it. If you look left, you will see the elevator. If you're injured, you have to come to the end of the hallway with the key and you will get up in the elevator. If you look right, you can see the middle staircase, which is where we just were. Now that I showed you the main hallway for your classes, let's walk through your elective classes and how to get to them. To 
get into the art hallway, walk forward, then turn right when you see the painted walls. Walk forward and on the right you will see your first art classroom. Walk a little farther and you will see your second art classroom. Now let's go to the Tech Ed Wing. If anyone is confused or lost, we are now at the main entrance. This is where we started the video out. Look familiar? This time, instead of turning left, we're gonna keep going straight. Everyone, take your attention to the left up here. You will see our school cafeteria. This is where you will be eating lunch. I will give a better demonstration after this clip. Turn right and continue down the hallway. Boys, if you look to the right, this is going to be your locker room for gym class. Here's your locker room. Now let's see how to get to the girls locker room. From the main entrance, instead of going left, we're going to go right and head down toward the vending machines. The door in between the trophies and the vending machines is your locker room. Let's go back to the tech ed wing. Keep walking. You will see on your left, there's another set of bathrooms. Now go ahead and look up. As I said, signs across the school. Here's another sign demonstrating where to go for tech ed. Here we have Taylor Vaughn pointing out some classrooms. To the left is a seventh grade class, so do not worry about that yet. On your right is computers. To the left is a family con class, one of two. To the right is Tech Ed. To the left is the second Family Con classroom. To our left is Design. A little past Design is going to be Robotics. And on the right is Gifted. I will now show you the cafeteria, office, nurse, and guidance office. From the main entrance, you're going to make a right and then turn left, kind of like as we were going to the first staircase. We're going to stop at the first staircase. This is how I remembered how to get the lunch from the very first staircase. Just turn around. There will be a sign above there that says cafeteria, but right here is your cafeteria. Now for the office, you would just keep walking past the stairs instead of turning into the cafeteria. And it's not much of a walk. You can see that little black piece up on the left. It will have the words office on it. I mean, that kind of points out that that is the office. Here you can access the principals and the secretaries. And if you turn around, here is the nurse. Now let's do the guidance office. Just keep walking down this hallway. And on the left, you can see the door and above it says guidance, which you can, what you want to go ahead and do is just open the door, walk straight and you will see you have our two guidance counselors, Mr. Tangretti and Mrs. Balecki Quinn. Congratulations. You made it through your sixth grade orientation. Now it's up to you to make it through sixth grade. It's not going to be that hard, but it will be challenging at times. Now we have some advice from the CAMS teachers. I hope my video helps you out. Again, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mrs. Griffin and I'm a sixth grade math teacher. Welcome to the middle school. We are so excited to have you here. I hope you all have an amazing school year. I wish you all the most successful school year ever. All right, guys, make sure you come with your mask. 
buy your dry erase markers because I can't give them to you and we're gonna have lots of fun. Hey guys, make sure you bring some markers, lots of scratch paper, and be prepared to work. Best advice I can give sixth grade is stay organized. Planner is very helpful. Most of all, come to school and have fun. Wear a mask. Social distance. Follow the arrows. Hi sixth grade, my name is Ms. Capuzzi and I will be your art teacher this year. I'm looking forward to having you in class.